so um so there's lots of videos on youtube that kind of talk about making a meditation space they say oh block off this corner in your room um but when we were in college there's not always a corner of the room um that's available your corner is either blocking a door um or being used obviously it's a really small space um and so i wanted to make a meditation space creation video um for other people like me who are in my same position who you know want a video that kind of shows them i guess what is possible in terms of a, a meditation space um in the dorm room just having a dedicated space that's meant for unwinding and taking care of myself um it also is like literally a physical reminder to meditate every day um like there's no reason that when i come in my room i can't just sit down under my bed and meditate um so yeah so a lot of the stuff um that i have here are stuff that i used last year um to meditate um some stuff that i got i got some new stuff to really revamp the space um okay so now i'm going to show you like the room that i have to play some meditation space well the very little room that i have under my bed um so yeah let's go look at that so this is the space under my bed that we're going to transform into a meditation space um as you can see posters that are like the remnants of my old meditation space it's just a trunk that has a bunch of um, snacks and stuff in it um but yeah this is it this is this is what we got <laughs> dollar store and goodwill and some christmas gifts here and there um but yeah we're gonna be looking at the different things that i got from my meditation space Ooh. what am i gonna start with i guess i might as well start with this table so i got this table um what i'm gonna do with it is kind of like set stuff up on top of here um so some of the other things that i got on top of here like my crystals and my like statues and stuff it's just an end table i got at goodwill um it's in hideous green um i'm probably gonna try to change this color somehow but this is what we have right now um this was like maybe eight dollars the next thing we have is this himalayan salt rock lamp that my sister got me for christmas um it's great i love it so much um, because it has a candle heater on the top, which is oh, such a great thing to have in the dorm, um, especially since we can't light candles. But like these inside the top, it's like the little cubes. It smells so good. Oh my god, this is an eucalyptus and sea salt. Even though they just put a regular scented candle on top and it would help melt it because the heat at the top. So very helpful, very nice. Very nice. This is an oil diffuser. Um, an essential oil diffuser and my sister also got me this for Christmas um I think this is like when I went to Bed Bath & Beyond I saw this there and it's like $20 um so yeah this is really nice oh inside of it okay so I bought this thing at five below for five dollars of course and it's it's a little water bottle humidifier like you literally you stick it inside of a water bottle and then like it, it's a humidifier so yeah so this is great <laughs> next thing my little sister and my little brother got this for me they like went in on it together cutest thing ever um but it's this like water fountain buddha statue what's it called the cascading buddha water fountain and it is the best thing ever first of all it makes like this really nice like water sound waterfall sound it's not too loud so that it's distracting but like if there's nothing else going you can hear it and i just love it so much um it's wonderful and this is going under my bed or somewhere i don't know probably going on this table i think they got this for like 30 dollars 20 dollars actually yeah 20 dollars um at earthbound 
I don't know where my sister got the Himalayan sea salt plant, but I know that she got the diffuser at Bed Bath & Beyond. She probably got both of them at Bed Bath & Beyond. So yeah, those are like the most, like the biggest things that I got, like size-wise, biggest things that I got. My brother and sister also got this from me. Um, so now we're going into like art stuff. Um, it's nice to have like art and um, just wall decorations kind of setting the mood for your uh, your meditation space. Um, so yeah, I have this that my um, brother and sister also got me um, with this. I think it was like, I think they spent what, total $40? So I think that was also $20 I ripped down. I've got some posters and stuff that I have had for a while. Um, some stuff that I painted and some stuff that I bought at a poster sale. Um, this is the biggest one. This is a self-portrait I painted um, at the end of senior year. Um, and it has all my friends and my, um, my band, my marching band letter on it. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, I just keep this in my room. It has my friends on it and an ex, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're just, we're not gonna talk about that. I have this poster. Ah. It's all taped up, because I used tape last semester. My school has like this beginning of the semester um, or the beginning of the year poster sale. Um, so I got this poster because it was just, I don't know, it was just speaking to me. Um, it's of a, a Miles Davis um, album cover, I'm pretty sure. A record cover out on the record. What, whatever the cool feel would have been for him. It's another poster I bought. Um, I bought this freshman year of college, first semester. Um, so I just had it for a while. I think it's cute. I like the ocean. So I have it. <sighs> Speaking of the ocean. Um, I bought, oh my god, I bought this print from an artist. Um, this is the top. Yeah, I bought this print from an artist um, at an art exhibit in Atlanta, um, the Futures Art Gallery. Um, she was outside selling them, and I was just like, wow, these colors, right? Like, don't they just, like, say something? The glare of the light. <sighs> like, I don't know, doesn't this just speak to you, you know? I don't know, it does speak to me, so. I bought it. Um, this is the art I did. Uh, <laughs> literally freshman year of high school. I made this freshman year of high school, that's crazy. Um, but I've always just liked it. It's nice. It's peeling up because it's just a collage of from a magazine, but like I don't know. It's nice and earthy. I like the vibes like still have it. I'm gonna hang it somewhere. I have this. I did sophomore year of high school. Um actually I'm not sure if I'm gonna hang this. I did last semester. Um she's giving me very much icy girl vibes, very much um piercing, you know. Colorful hair. Maybe that's why I still have it because I wanted to make my hair like this. Um, so yeah. And then I'll, this is also a, a print I bought from an artist in Atlanta. Um, she's outside of Five Points. Um, Pebbles got that work. That's her name. And I forget the other artist. I think her name is like Catherine or Caitlin or. But her art tag is K L R Art. So. This lamp that I bought last semester to read on my bed. Um, so it usually toggles between under my bed and over my bed, <laughs> um, depending on where I decide to read. And yeah, I'm a fan, but um, I shouldn't have bought that. I bought that freshman year in this kit, and I I really didn't need to. That's just it. I just didn't need to. And I got these. Oh my god! Guess what? Guess what? No. Listen. Listen to me. Okay, these were originally $5 at Best Buy. You wanna know how much I paid? Five. Get this. These were in the Christmas aisle, right? I bought them last week. So these $5 llama lamps, llama lights that have nothing to do with Christmas, originally $5, I got them for a dollar each. Boom. And this is, Oh, sorry. This is cactus or cacti. Also a dollar. So a dollar, a dollar. Boom. This is um I painted this my freshman year specifically because my roommate at the time wanted to do an ocean themed room. She sent me a picture 
of this portrait she wanted to buy and I was like, girl, I could paint that. And she's like, wait, really? And I was like, I mean, I could try. And so I, I literally copied the portrait, but instead of like just doing it on one piece of canvas, I did it on two square ones and glued them together. Um, so yeah, it's pretty, honestly, I'm, I love it. <laughs> it makes me happy. The ocean makes me happy, I think. I think it reminds me of Jamaica or something. Um, I also have electrical, um, like, I have extension cords and stuff in here, so. So this bag is, um, this is there. Now I have this yoga mat, um, and the reason why I got it is because the floor is freaking hard. Um, it is not nice to sit on this bare floor to meditate. So I got this yoga mat to basically be like the carpet of under my bed. Um, but when you're setting up a meditation space, um, you definitely want to make sure the area is comfortable um, in somewhere that feels inviting. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just somewhere you want to sit for 20 minutes, you know? Um, so I also got these, okay, so this is a skirt. I bought it for Pride or Halloween, one of the two. Same difference. <laughs> it's extremely long and I can't wear it as a skirt because I'm really short. So, but I still have it. And last year I realized like it's just beautiful. Like, this is a tapestry that my sister got me. Oh, and that skirt was like 20 bucks on this weird website. I don't even remember. I just remember this website also sold lingerie. And I was like, eh, it's sketchy website, Rebecca. <sighs> I also got this tapestry that's like a map of the world. Um, super cute, super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for this semester, but we'll see. We'll, we'll put it all together. We'll, it's gonna be a little cute. I swear, it's gonna look cute while we put it all together, all right? I also have this thing, again, to just make it comfortable to sit. Now we have some more goodies. So all of this stuff, I kid you not, costs like a dollar or less. Okay, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna get into it. So this is like a picture holder. Um, I'm probably gonna put some art on top of it. Um, so yeah, dollar at the dollar store. I got this at Goodwill yesterday for seventy nine cents. Girl, girl. Okay, I got this at Dollar Tree. For a dollar, obviously, it's Dollar Tree. I got this cute little thing. I'm gonna put my little, hu the water bottle humidifier, right? Right, you see it, you see it? I'm gonna put the water bottle humidifier in here. 99 cents at uh, Goodwill. I got this little like candle holder thing. Um, and I have like, hold on, let me show you how it works. Just look at it, come on, come on. Oh, probably not showing it because it's not. Look. A dollar. This whole setup is two dollars. We stand. The Dollar Tree. And these also change colors. Wait. Oh, yeah. Ugh. The flower ones also change colors. So. Except I don't like that they blink that much, but it's alright. Oh. Yeah. I got this candle. Where did I get this? I got this at a crystal store in Atlanta um, in Five Points. Um, I forgot what the name of it was, but it's the only crystal store in Five Points. Um, and I got this star-shaped glass um, container thing for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So I got this purple pillow, Dollar Tree, of course. Um, I painted this. Um, when did I paint this? I painted this a couple days ago. Um, I was just a waterfall. I was watching this tarot reading. And, I don't know, one of the cards just inspired me. It's pretty. I got this picture frame at Dollar Tree as a picture of me. As a little child. It's for my inner child meditation. Um... Girl, this is the cutest thing I got at Dollar Tree. Look at this. 
it's like first off just look at this it looks like a freaking macron okay it's so cute you open it up it's gold lined perfect for holding all of the crystals that i've wrapped oh my god it's the cutest thing ever i keep my jewelry i keep my um crystal jewelry and um my initial necklace and some of my wrapped pendants that i don't like just my loose pendants that i don't have on anything um right now. now the thing with going to dollar tree is that not all the dollar trees have the same thing there's this one particular island dollar tree that has that is just a magical land of whatever the heck they want to put there so it's it you know the aisle with the candles the aisle with the candles okay and they usually also have picture frames in that aisle but like they just have anything goes in that aisle honestly it's like you can go to one dollar tree and they have stuff like this it's like where did this come from why is this in dollar tree it like it's like is this a thrift store now like i don't understand and then you know you have your basic stuff like the tea tree lights i think like all the dollar trees i've been to have the tea tree lights but like some of them had like one the only one of like three dollar trees that i went to had this crystal thing and so it's like and the um the cage tea tree light holder so it's Dollar Tree is a really interesting place when it comes to buying stuff like this. It's perfect, honestly. It's perfect, but also it's inconsistent. So you gotta find one that like, you gotta go to a couple and figure out which one has the best payout for you, you know? So like the one that had this, girl, we going back. <laughs> no, so that is all of the things that I'm going to figure out how to place them and arrange them under my bed for a meditation space. And I'll come back and show you the results.
finished under the bed meditation space. Um, we have some lighting over here, so it's not gonna be this bright when I'm using it. Actually, let me just turn the light off for a second. So, clearly a vibe. Can't see me, but like, hello, like that. That is everything. Um, yeah. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're at school and you just need to create a place for you to relax, I hope you got some ideas from this video. Um, 